Let's talk about a multi-bagger stock that has delivered around 200% return in the last two years. Well, this Tata Group stock is up over 300% in the last three years. I'm talking about Indian Hotels Company. This Tata Group uh, company is South Asia's largest hospitality company by market capitalization. It opened its first hotel at the Taj Mahal Palace in Bombay in 1903 and has a portfolio of 196 hotels now. The company is listed on the Bombay Stock Exchange and the non, uh, National Stock Exchange. The stock has actually recovered over 90% from its 52-week low of uh, 207 rupees and is hovering around its 52-week high of 399 rupees. So if we look at the Q4 numbers also, the numbers were better than expected as uh, the firm reported uh, uh, an 86% jump in its sales and net profit also zoomed over 340% to uh, 328 crore rupees. Now this is against 74 crore rupees in the March 2022 quarter. On an annual basis also net profit zoomed to uh, 1002 crore rupees for the fiscal year ended March 2023 against a loss of 247 crore rupees for FY22. So what's really next for this multi-bagger stock? Well according to Vineet Polinchkar of Ventura Securities, the hotel industry is poised for for significant growth in the coming years as demand for rooms is expected to exceed supply driven by a surge in tourism activities and improving business travel. The Indian hotel company is one such player that has witnessed a strong recovery in occupancy rates and average room rates as well. He believes that the stock has a significant upside potential also. Now, Vashali Parekh of Prabhudas Leeladhar believes that the stock has witnessed a decent run in the past two months with regular consolidation with slight correction in between and has maintained a strong trend overall on the daily chart. The upside target visible would be at around 425 to 430 rupees. At the same time, a decisive breach below 375 rupees can witness further slide. ICIC Securities also has an ad call on this particular stock with a target price of 443 rupees. It likes the company's efforts to leverage its existing brand equity to focus on new business segments and also the company's focus on cost optimization and asset like management contract model to expand room portfolio along with its net debt free balance sheet. So will the momentum sustain going forward? Well, you stay tuned to know more. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.